remember correctly, right? Was that Winner's Finals or was it Jen Ling Clean 3 0? No, I think it was Carflow in Winner's Finals, no? No, oh, you might have been right. They got into it so quick, production can't even update the overlay. That's how cracked these players are at getting ready. But that's all right. Uh, grand Finals, Carflow coming in loser's side with Ling sitting pretty on Winner's Game 1, starting out PS2. All right, yeah, just to sort of mentally reset here, because they're going to keep playing at Mach 10. Um, I, I don't know what Carflow goes into this set with, you know, to try to make it look differently than last time. I think if I remember correctly from the first set, it felt like Carflow was coming in with that Mach 10 aggression we know best, and Ling was winning those scraps. Then he would start to slow it down, and the pace would even, but it was too little too late. Carflow just needs to find that rhythm early on and not throw away those leads. Or the even percents, I should say. Yeah. So hard for Cloud to recover with those down oh, airs. Turn it, about, yeah. jump is gone. And Ling with the first stock of our grand finals here. I mean, Ling also clearly very proficient at edge guarding Cloud here and able to take those stocks at really early percents. Makes a big difference. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Punish coming out on Whip Uppy. And it's hard for Cloud. I mean, Sword can kind of get through Parasol and Recovery, but not really. We did see it happen in the set earlier, but only once, and it wasn't a strong hit, it was a weak hit, you know? Right. Oh! oh okay! That was awesome, Whoa. because uh, no, nobody, including <laughs> Ling, thought there was anything after that. Yeah, side Cloud <laughs> goes that deep, and they use something, they're going right back to lead. How is there another move after? Yeah, it Carful still had that no. jump. Went for a Nair. Carful eating it up, but still pretty big percentage deficit. Fair gets the jab to send off towards the side, but Ling answers back with a fair of his own. Oh, okay. Back here going to close out. Two stocks to one, just about a one stock lead. Um, Carflow no stranger to the situation, but kind of looking a little bit like set one. Hoping Carflow can find a way to make this look a little different. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay. triple back air. Went for the fourth, but Uppy interrupting after that ledge slip off. Turn up in hand. Okay. Side B out to the side. Back hit of Nair. Whoa. Finishing touches Wait, hits on the on PS2? I, I, I had no that. idea. I, I had I, no idea. I figured maybe small that battlefield, move but feels small, but then sometimes it does things where I'm like, I don't I literally don't understand how finishing yeah. touches works. Never seen Carpool use that move much, but I'm glad he is. I mean clearly understands that it hits on plat. Yeah, you know, he wouldn't have gone for that if he didn't know. A good expansion of his cloud toolkit for sure. All right, final stock here on this game one. Going to see who goes with a little momentum into the rest of the best of five. Limit on deck. Carflow kind of pushed to a corner. Turn oh, man. Out. Limits on line. A, a lot. chance at an early kill and a comeback if we get a nice air dodge. Oh, read. my God. Finds the blade beam on the Peach Bomber. Kind of calling out one of those from Ling for the first time. Jab through whiffing. Nice turnaround grab. Good patience. But is it too little too late? It might be, but Peach is at 91. Oh. Up smash going to close wow. with a rage cloud. at only 91. Holy shit, that I did strong. not think it was going to kill. Yeah, I guess that little bit of rage went a long way and pushed Ling over the top blast zone line for Carflow to take game one of our grand finals. This would be a big bracket for Carflow to win with the cloud, this I think. This would be. This would be the biggest car. The biggest bracket we've seen Carflow win here. I've been sad since Carflow switched off Roy. I'm just gonna say it because I'm like I I love rooting for the kid, but like now we're back. It feels like we're back. Agreed. A little bit. I miss all of those noises Roy makes, like really loud and really <laughs> fast in my ears when I'm commentating him. That's true. Cloud's a little more chill, you know. But I, hey, Carflow up a game. Yeah. As we go here into the game two. I don't know if we'll be seeing too much in terms of adaptations. I think both these players kind of have their game plans, and they're going to just keep trying to do it better than the other player. They're both playing fast in each other's faces. You know, it's uh, it's good smash, Scott. 100%. Oh, my God. Float kind of faint there. Goes for a grab. Ooh, covers Doesn't that spot touch with that down air. Blade beam connecting on shield. Not going to poke. Back air descending off stage. Oh. Good roll through. Rare you see a, a roll from ledge work at this level of play. Yeah. Deep recovery, but catches the air dodge from ledge. 
Limit online. We're going to see something deep on the Parasol coverage, Aye. but no. Aye. Okay. Carflow not panicking in that situation. Saves the jump. Doesn't get caught in the multi-hit. Manages to make it back, even though that was definitely a really scary situation if you're Cloud. Yep, staying calm in a heated moment. Very good. Percent just about even. Ling applying pressure to Carflow here in the corner. Dash attack pushing to the other side. And the extension on the turnip yeah. actually costing Carflow the stock. And Ling is smart enough to sit there, turn around, and then go for Bear. Yeah, I mean, Ling clearly very aware of like what these turnips can do to other people's lag and like really, really good presence of mind. Down tilt Nair. Almost a big start to a combo. Whoa, little, yeah, little yeah, that was there like with bait, that flow cancel. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was nice trying to think Carflow, trying to make Carflow think that Ling was approaching high, coming up for the jump attack, but back to the ground to cover an air dodge or something. Another grab, another forward throw, rinse and repeat. This is where Carflow struggles, is when you're in this corner and you just can't punch through and you could lose your stock really early to the wrong situation. Good patience from Carflow, waiting for Ling to make an option to get back to center and covers with that back air on the high jump from ledge. Okay. Oh, Ooh. gosh. Ling, and then that nair hitting kind of soft, like a, like a thick, soft nair. Oh, oh my, my god! god! No fucking way! <laughs> no oh way! Oh my god! How does he do it? 46 How post How does hit. he do it? That oh was crazy, my god. And Ling we're back. I mean, we're totally even now. From this huge deficit Carflow had because of that amazing finishing touch display. Ling evens it up right away. But wow. That was so nice. Yeah, unbelievable as we go here into this final stock. I mean, it does sort of feel like Ling is edging things out in the neutral. We see it here in this final stock, but Carflow with that X Factor able to bring it back and clutch it up. What do we got for a punish? No jump call out after the hit, after the whiff up B. Uh-oh, here we are again. That oh was the same God, situation dude. as the before. I think yeah, the percent is like 10% higher. higher. Yeah, that was so scary. Oh my God, it was like a training lag combo that just like happened to work perfectly. Oh, the oh, jump call out. There's no jump here, that's so scary. It still, still has float though. Okay, laying off stage. On the edge guard, I mean, this has to be Carflow's moment because the second Carflow is off stage, it's kind of lights out at this percent. Uh oh. Okay, rolls through, finds back center quickly. Where do we go? Okay, finds the side B. This could be Carflow's moment with the limit. Ling kind of baiting it out a little bit, waiting. Oh my God! Oh my it, God! It, it worked. worked. It totally worked. There goes limit. Dash tech comes through. Not going to kill, but Carflow. In a disadvantageous state here, push to the corner. One hit, stray hit's gonna kill for either one of these oh players. Oh my god, gets the grab, cloud throws, not that good, but does take back center. Oh, limit's close to being online, that is scary for Ling. Oh my gosh, oh my oh, gosh. Oh, the patient's in shield. <laughs> gets a little bit of shield damage, but it's still not enough. Uh, that Nair out of shield, limit. gonna push Carflow off stage. Limit, this is so you dangerous. need it, you need gets it. That's the limit, no! Oh, dude, nice on coverage. On high recovery, that was so good. That was great, that was great coverage from Ling. How did he know? I don't know how he knew, because Carflow held left there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was a call out, because Ling had to know that Carflow wasn't going to the ledge there. Yeah, and recovering that early after the uppy, like right here. True, yeah, actually, yeah. Like, how? I he, don't know. he threw out fair in such good time to cover that, but Ling evening it, it up, going to a game three for 1 1 against these players. Amazing finishing touch from Carflow. Carflow and Ling are both playing so, so hot tonight. It awesome just to watch. feels to me like Ling is winning, but Carflow can always do it. Yeah. You know what I mean, like that's what we've seen with these finishing touches, these huge explosive combos for big damage and kills. It uh, you don't expect it coming because it does look like Ling is dominant, but he's not. It's even. Okay, getting into this game three. I mean, very much a pivotal game for this set, I would imagine. There's so much volatility here that, like, this could go to a game five or or it could end in game four, you know? This could. I mean, Carflow has a long way to work to win this bracket, but this is a great start so far, keeping it really competitive and even. I think we're definitely in for a game five, if not a reset. I hope we get a reset. Yeah, this is, this is good Smash, man. It's nice to see these players play it. Honestly, you know, some of their best right now. It feels like it. All right. Another cross slash sending off stage. Could this be the moment we find the first stock? 
Another grab. Rinse and repeat. Ah, uh, caught in the blade beam. Carflow strikes first. Ah, uh, and Ling strikes right back. Not going to kill with that fair. Uh, okay, Ooh, nice up early upbeat. Up Still in a dangerous situation. But Carflow managing to stay alive here. We'll see if we can get any extra credit here. Two hits, three hits, and the limit. Peach Bomber doesn't have to use the limit yet. This could be huge. Either... Nah, no, nah, there it is. I yeah. was going to say, some big damage come out there. Even an early kill, as we've seen before from those finishing touches. But no capitalization. Carflow with a little bit of a lead. Peach Fair is so much easier to hit than I think. Yeah, it's like a it's a wide scooper. You think it's like a pinpoint. It feels you know? like it would be a really hard move to land, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't really know why. It's the grab up throw, trying to set up a juggle state, but Peach has these mix-ups with float hard to deal with. Ooh, combo coming out, gets okay. the grab, down tilt nair grab. A nice 50% off a single opening. That, those delays, man, it's messing car flow up. As soon oh my as, god, actually spot dodging yeah, the last, the last hit, hit As soon as Ling got caught by that uh, cross slash off stage, been so careful to mix up when Carflow has limit. And Carflow hasn't figured out an answer yet. It's true. Now pushing Ling to 159%, I'm sure Carflow is going to be fishing for these back airs, but I mean, it just takes one hit at this percent. But now Carflow off stage, I mean, absolutely could get bonked at zero. <laughs> like, you know, I guess 103 at this point. But. Oh, limits online though, a safe recovery, but uses the mix instead. I like that instead of going for that limit upbeat. I mean, there was a chance Ling went out aggressively there, and yeah. I, I like the idea. And it worked out on favor, back to stage. Gets the back air to close. Still retaining a small lead here is Carflow. If Ling could close that quickly, that would be a game changer. Nair sending Carflow off stage. Dude, those side B ones to get around the turn up toss is so smart. Instead of trying to Z catch his cloud, because it's scary, yeah. you know. That side B1 is so genius. Unless your name is John Numbers. Yeah. <laughs> nice little scoop. Saw Link coming in aggressively, but the percents are massively even right now. That float mix to get around Carflow's fair. Gosh. Good patience. I love that one, two, waiting for Ling to choose an option out of the corner. They're, they all try so hard to maximize, like both of them, maximize their shield pressure capability too. Like. Yeah. When they're playing with its aggression and around each other's space, like they're always really trying to mix one another so that you can get into a poke situation. And it's so scary. It is so scary. It's like, yeah, what can I get away with before you drop shield so I can make you scared and maybe get a hit yeah. on the top? It's, it's really what scary. makes their aggression so oh, peak. No way. Dash wow. attack from Ledge and Carflow goes up 2-1. I was not prepared for that to kill. I mean, Cl I wasn't Cloud's either. dash attack killing earlier than I think I thought it did. Yeah, we'll see here in the replay what sort of DI we get as we get towards this dash Yeah, was attack. it just like a DI in? No, DI out. Oh, wow, that was DI out. Bing, You're bing, right. Bing, bing. And oh, at the last minute, though, you see you see it Ling react at the last minute here. Oh, and it changes. Yep, yeah. changes to internal. It, and then yeah. it goes off the top I mean, to the but corner. But to be honest, like even if that was better DI, like that, I don't know if he could have survived that. He might have not. Maybe. He might have not. Maybe. It, it's, it, that was actually... Maybe incredible DI because you know your your LSI right when you get hit your launch speed influence he likely was holding down in a way and that that made that angle out and right with blue which meant his launch speed was going to be as low as possible then at the last moment shifted towards up or directly out to try and hit that corner and still died from it. So I think great DI on Link's part and Dash Tag just close in earlier than we thought. a strong move, I think, yeah. Uh, but Carflow 2-1 poised for a reset for our Century Series here tonight. But we're finally going to small battlefield. Yeah, battle I was going to say, I mean, we've seen some different color palettes here on the screen for once. Yeah. Um, although I guess this is the one we're pretty used to. <laughs> Um, starting out this game four very explosively is Ling, I think. Um, obviously, you never know where this set's going to go, but I think Ling very much wants to take this to a game five. I think they both know what's at stake. Ling 
Losing this match would have to... Go oh, oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Amazing backer. And like a scary one to throw out in that position. Yeah. I mean, not that Ling was in risk of dying, but that, like... I don't know. I agree. Ling knows it's at stake. If he loses, has to grind through a real true reset against Carflow, which is a monster. But Carflow feels that energy, wants to push it past without having to go to a game five. So this is going to be a pivotal set. And both these game, players, either. after such a big bracket over such a long period of time, not slowing down their momentum at all. I mean, I have to no. commend the top players after this long in the game's lifespan, but also just, you know, the practice and dedication. Like, these players have so much capability to just play for hours and hours and hours at this level of speed. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, oh my it's God, the, the, the frying fry pan. That was intentional, too, because the was. frying pan has that straight-up that up. Straight up angle. Yeah, <laughs> the perfect center stage F smash. Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, three stocks to one now. Ling running away with this game four. Feels a little bit like what happened. I don't even know. Wait, where did Carflow's stocks go? We're two minutes in. And yeah. trades. Finally, Carflow on the board. Limit online, so a chance at a comeback here. Oh, turn up in hand. Jump's gone. Okay, that was like a scary freeze frame. That was. <laughs> I thought that was Ling ending the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of those moves like DK Punch, where even at zero, you get a whole freeze yeah. frame. <laughs> Ooh, punish on that high parasol from Peach. Uh, the golf club to send to the corner. Even there, like, that was intentional, because the golf cart having a longer, the golf club having a longer range, I don't think frying pan would have hit. I, I don't know about the tennis racket. I think mean, you're like, right, yeah. It felt like that was also a choice on purpose. Like, I don't think Ling's just throwing these out. Ling yeah. knows exactly what he's doing. Let's see this on that. Dude, I think you're right. I, I, I don't that know was too frying far pan. Favorite. I don't I don't know. It would have been close. I don't know how far a tennis racket hits, but I know for a fact frying pan wouldn't have hit. Yeah, gets that, sends to the corner. Really? I was not expecting an F-Smash there. No, not at sure. all. Me either, not at all. But we are going to be seeing that game five. But the question is, are we in for a reset, or will it all end right here, right now? Oh, dude, this bear right here, too. Covered yeah, on that high was, recovery. Was I mean, how does that up B not connect on Ling in that position, too? Like, Oh, so true. Oh, I we're guess. getting another stage swap here to Ooh, town. Ooh, town and city for our game five. Curious if we're going to see this continue on, possibly all the way to a game 10 or end right here for 12G Century Series Sunday Night Smash. We hope you all enjoy the disco theming. It's been a pretty fun one for yeah, us. It's been a good time tonight. People have been having a fun time. Saw some moves being busted. And some you can disco think, attire. Uh, you can thank 12G Dexter for this one. I think he came up with this one. I think you're <laughs> right. Oh, Ooh. nice. That's got to be a stock. Oh, oh. great TI to the corner. Going to live through that one. Jumps around the blade beam. Jump gone. It's actually super pivotal for Ling, because losing that stock at this point would have been really bad. Yeah, 40, 30 seconds in at that point, you know. But shields and M&M, but still pushing the advantage state is Ling. Yeah, they're both still heated, playing well. A little more cautious on what they're trying to connect with. We get a grab. We get back throw to send off. No mix on the plat. Yeah, oh. Link now taking the stock first. I wow. mean, huge stuff. Great D out of the corner. Yep. And taking the game back into his favor. Well, Cloud's one of those characters like Fox where it's like, you can be so overwhelmed, but it's like, if I shield, like, oh. what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, so true. I get grabbed again. Huge <laughs> call out from, uh, from Link floating off stage. Carflow with the backer to even it up. It was 0-0. Zero, zero. What are we going to get from Ling? 60%, oh, 72, 72 unanswered. Stitch on oh, deck. Stitch face with tech. it. Oh, my God. Okay. We're, oh, no. Oh, that pokes. caught hanging. Oh, gets the grab with the stop. <laughs> there. Almost a zero to death. 5% oh. taken on Ling's part. It could be all oh over here God. as Ling starts to run away with Carflow's final <laughs> stock. 62% already on the board, but Carflow finally now punching back. Can Carflow find some breathing room? Oh, I'm not no. sure. Possibly Carflow's last stock at 12G Century Series in each other's faces. Limit on deck. A chance at redemption. Oh, my gosh. No. Fair out to the corner. Going to have to use that uppy with the limit. Oh, gosh. No. Oh Where you want to find yourself? Turnip. Oh, no, he's hit. And, and that that's is it. it. 
Carflow take? I'm sorry, Link takes. What am I? Link, <laughs> That's gets funny bonked. you said yeah, Carflow with the camera uh, and then to Link. That's I, hilarious. Jesus, man. Yeah, I looked at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ling taking it home after a well-fought set from Carflow from loser's side. But that turnip, just, just a little scary little guy. That down smash poking at the last second, too. Like, yeah. maybe Legend Vulnerability just barely wearing off. But that led to that stock. I mean, a really fast game five here for Grands. And it was back and forth, but Ling really land on the pressure, pulling out all the stops to close that set. Um, you know, some of these clips here just show both of these players were on, on point fire. tonight, yeah. man. No. Playing so good. It's It's been a while since I think... It just has been a while, first off, two months since we've run our last event, but since we've really seen some hard-fought battles for top four. I mean, obviously, Max Rez. Before that, you know, we had some interesting sets, but tonight was fire The only. energy felt different. I think everyone's excited to be back, and they all really wanted that win. And, like, huge props to Ling, because looking indomitable all day, and Carflow definitely, like, revved up, didn't have it in winner's finals, kind of came back with a vengeance here for the Grands. Really but like, did, yeah. Link shutting it down and showing us why he's a top player through and through. Uh, it was great smash all the way down. Yeah, Connecticut's own, man, yeah. with a huge win. 100%. Uh, but shout outs to Carflow for an awesome fight for second place. Jen coming in third, numbers in fourth. And if you want to know the rest of the results, check out start.gg slash 12G for that full, uh, full set of results. Uh, if you want to know when our next event is live, follow us on Twitter, at 12G Smash. And our VODs will be up on our YouTube, at 12G Smash on YouTube. Pretty soon you'll be able to check out all the matches from today and all of the matches from our history of running Smash events here at Brooklyn. And speaking of Brooklyn, it's where we're at tonight. We run this monthly, monthly uh, towards the end of every month, usually the third or the last Sunday of every month. Live at Brooklyn, New York's largest esports venue, uh, back in this arena space here. But the space has a lot to offer. A land center over off to the side with 27 PCs, a full bar and kitchen up front. If you're interested in running your event here at the space, make sure to reach out to us at events at brooklyn.com. Or if you need help running your events or planning, uh, 12G. Yeah. Dot gg you can find our contact information or business at 12g.gg for and a direct line full stack esports events production team we can put together corporate events esports events just about anything you need give us a call give us a call make it happen events broadcasts all the way give us a little ring but with that said tucker i think we solved 12g century series sunday night smash holy shit answer was ling oh my god today was awesome um it's been so long. Haven't seen you guys in a while, two months. But we're going to be back again soon in another month. For October, we'll be announcing all the information about that event on our Twitter and in the Brookland Discord, um, but at 12G Smash on Twitter for all the information. God. What a day. What a day. Yeah. I, I forget how late these go, too. I was like looking at my clock. I'm like, dang, we haven't even started our, our comm slot yet. I know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big one. We got over 100 entrants. So it was like 115 maybe by the time we were done with registrations. I know. It's a big one. It was very good vibes today. But, man, with all that being said, I'm 12 Eugene. And I'm 12 BDS. We'll see you next month. Bye, guys.